back to SciTie Tech. In this video, I'm going to share how to make this really interesting project with using two 555 timers and two LDRs to create a light theremin. And I'm going to show you how to make this in this video. The items you're going to need is this 9 volt battery clip, two 1K ohm resistors, two 555 timers, a 16 pin IC socket holder, and of course a perf board two LDRs, a 104 nanofarad ceramic capacitor, and a one microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and of course a two watt 32 ohm speaker. Now let's go ahead and assemble this together and let's get started. And this right here is the basic schematic to create the circuit. Slight modifications is needed for this circuit by replacing the 470 K ohm resistor with the LDR and replacing pin one capacitor with one capacitor of the 104 nanofarad and the electrolytic. And yes, by the way, the LED is backwards. So just follow the schematic with those slight modifications. First, I'm gonna start with my perf board. And I have right here my 16 pin IC socket holder, and I'm gonna place it on the center of the perf board, just like that. Clamp it down so it's flush with the board. Solder the first pin. Check to see if it's flush with the board, and it is. Now I'll solder the rest of the pins in. Next, I'm going to place my 104 ceramic capacitor on pin 1 and 2 on the first 555 timer. Bend over the leads, solder it into place, and cut off the excess. Now I have my electrolytic capacitor and place it on the second 555 timer on pin 1 and 2, just like this. Do the same thing, solder bridge it together, cut off the leads, and there, she'll look just like this. Next I'm going to take my four 1K ohm resistors and put them in position where they go to pin 7 and 8 on both of the 555 timers, just like this. Solder them into place and then bridge them over. There we go, just like that. Next, I'm gonna take my last two 1K ohm resistors and put one in to pin three on both of the 555 timers. Solder them into place, where one end connects to pin three and the other end is loose. Just like this. The other leads I won't cut. Next, I'm going to take my two LDRs and place them on pin 6 and 7 on both of the 555 timers. Just like this. Solder them into place and bridge them to pin 6 and 7. And the important thing is not to push them all the way through because you're going to need them to be able to bend to, for use. And it shall look just like this. Next, I'm going to take my bridge wires and I'm going to bridge pin 8 and 4 on both of the 555 timers. And it shall look just like this. Pin 4 and 8 are bridged together. Next, I'm going to take two more bridge wires and connect pin 2 and 6 on both of the 555 timers. Pin 2 and 6 are now soldered. And it shall look just like this. Next, I'm going to take these two power wires and I'm going to connect both of the pin 1s and both of the pin 8s on both of the 555 timers. So that pin 8 is connected to that pin 8. This pin 1 is connected to that pin 1. And it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take my 9 volt battery connector and connect those to the pin 1 and 8. 
just like this. Solder bridge it together. Next, I'm gonna take my two 1K ohm resistors that are connected to pin three that have the loose ends and solder them both together. Just like this. Cut off the leads. Next, I'm gonna take this positive and negative wire which will connect to the speaker and I'm gonna go ahead and solder the negative wire to the common ground. Then I'm gonna solder the positive wire to those two 1K ohm resistors that are connected to pin three. Now I'm gonna take my two 555 timers and place them into the socket. And it should look just like that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and solder those positive and negative wires to my speaker. Negative wire to the negative of the speaker, positive wire to the positive of the speaker. And there you have it, your circuit is now complete. Let's go ahead and test it out. That works. Later on, I'm gonna add the slide switch to the circuit because I want to now use this cardboard here to build the housing for the circuit. First, I'm gonna take my speaker and place it onto this piece of cardboard and glue it into place. And it should look just like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on this perf board. Glow it on top just like that. Put some more hot glue so that way it stays in more secure. Now I'm going to take these side pieces and glue them into place. Little bit of extra hot glue to hold it into place better. And repeat the same process on both sides. Now repeat the same process on the bottom piece. Now looking at this device, I'm not very satisfied in the position of these LDRs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut them and place them more farther apart. So cut it about here would be good. Now we're going to take some extra wire and extend them. Put some shrink tubing to keep it insulated. Now bend the wires over to the ends, just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and solder the LDRs on the end of these wires. Just like this. And there, it should look just like that. Put some hot glue to insulate the connections and place them in place. There, in my opinion, I think that's much better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the top to glue in the top panel. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some extra hot glue to secure it into place. Now what I'm going to do with this back panel is I'm going to take my slide switch 
and I'm going to cut out a rectangle to be able to put this light switch through the rectangle. Right on and off for where the switch is going to be turned on and off at. Cut out my rectangle and then place my switch inside. There we go, place it in just like that. Cut the positive wire of the 9 volt battery connector. Remove the insulation, tin it. Put both the wires through just like this. Solder the switch into place. Now go ahead and move the 9 volt battery clip further down and glue the switch into place. Light amount of glue to prevent the switch from sticking. Push it into place and move it on and off rapidly while the glue is drying so the switch doesn't stick. There we go, just like that. Now let's go ahead and glue the back panel into place. Perfect. Now I'm going to add some more hot glue because the, I didn't measure it correctly, so I just want to make sure it stays properly sealed. Next, I'm going to take this piece of cardboard and wrap it around the 9 volt battery, which will be the housing for the 9 volt battery. I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue and close the housing together. Just like that. Next, I'm going to take my 9 volt battery, slide it through, connect the 9 volt battery connector. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue the housing into place. And there you have it. The project is now complete. And now let's go ahead and test it out. Switch it on. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a light theremin with using two 555 timers and two LDRs to create this wonderful musical circuit. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.